They may seem lazy, but a slow metabolism is to blame for the sloth's sluggish speed. These of the two-toed variety, called Hoffmans, live at the Toucan Rescue Ranch in Costa Rica. To get her as a pet, people pulled down hard on her hind legs to separate her from her mother, and they broke all her hip muscles to get her down so she could become someone's pet. She suffered a lot of pain and couldn't move. Here, caregivers nurse sloths back to health from injuries suffered at the hands of humans. For example, animals that get hit by vehicles or that get electrocuted. In those cases, what's happened is because of us. It is our fault, and at that time we must intervene, and in these cases we have to act. Vets examine incoming patients, especially babies, and as their health improves, they start keeping them with other sloths. They're placed in a group with other juveniles, so they're not alone. Because at this age, they're usually with their mother. Being with another sloth, they don't have the anxiety or stress of loneliness. As rehab progresses, rescuers move sloths to settings similar to their South and Central American habitats. The long-term goal is to give these once injured animals the tools to survive in the wild. This is what we call a soft release. The enclosure opens and the animals can decide to leave when they're ready. The Toucan Rescue Ranch works with the Costa Rican government to bring injured sloths to the center. Since opening in 2007, the ranch released more than 102 and three-toed sloths into the wild. Arash Arbasadi, VOA News, Washington.